Hello everyone, Nadim here with PC Solutions Net. Uh, today I want to talk about how you can work collaboratively on files and media in OneDrive for Business. Um, and this works for SharePoint Online as well because the back end is SharePoint for both OneDrive for Business and, and SharePoint. So, uh, so there you have it. So let's, uh, uh, before we get there, uh, first let's uh, switch over to my uh, browser here and I want to talk a little bit about before you do the migration to cloud get this report so uh, go to this website um, and get our um, a, a critical facts report about cloud computing so you know this will this will you know help you decide what cloud and what components and how to move them into the cloud to minimize business disruption. So just go to pcsn.net slash get dash five dash critical dash facts dash about dash cloud dash computing. Yeah, it's a long one. So there it is. So it's basically pcsn.net slash get five critical facts about cloud computing uh, separated by hyphens. Uh, and I'm going to show you, if you don't want to type all that in, just go to our website, pcsn.net. And once you're at the website, just go to Publications Reports. And then you can click on Get 5 Critical Facts About Cloud Computing right here. And download this report. So this report will go over a lot of the things about cloud computing, I mean the ins and outs, the, the, the little subtle details that you need to know as a business decision maker before you start thinking about moving your workloads to the cloud. So uh, having said that, let's uh, jump into OneDrive. Now of course I have this custom URL. You can have your IT team create a custom URL if you prefer to do so. So in OneDrive, uh, I have uh, several different documents here. Now, one of the things that happens in OneDrive is that uh, when you click on a document, uh, let's see if I have one. So these are PDF files. Uh, let's go to a, um, a regular document. So we're just going to, uh, yeah. So let's go into PCSN and there's gotta be something here. Um, I don't want to do that. Uh, okay, so over here we have. Uh, let, let's do you know. So under seminars, so let's let's try you know one of one of these over here. So so here we have you know cloud computing seminar PowerPoint template. So let's just open this up. So you'll notice how this template is actually opening up in the 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 browser right so uh and and uh it's 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 a powerpoint uh, uh uh file but it's opening up within the browser so let me let me close this and let me open another one here just to show you so so see how it opens up in the browser right so um now once you're in here this is your Think of it like your full-fledged PowerPoint running within the browser window. What does that mean? So really, you don't have to have PowerPoint installed on your local machine to be able to edit these files. So whether it's PowerPoint, Excel, or Word, the main Office applications that you use, you don't need them installed on your machine anymore. You can use the browser just by itself. Now, here's the, here's the good thing. You can share in real time with other people. So I can click on it and I can share it with other people. I can put comment. I mean, I have everything right here. Now, if somebody else is uh, in this same PowerPoint presentation or a Word document or Excel file, then I will see the other person that's here. And as they make changes in real time, I will see the changes they are making. And, and it's really great and it's easy to do basically uh, you open a Word document or, or any Office document, could be Excel, and then have somebody else go in there and you will see the changes they're making in real time. Kind of like what Google used to do with uh, Google Docs, right? So so it really started out in, in Google Docs and then Microsoft brought it into the enterprise side of things as well into um, uh, Office and, and uh, the web versions of Office files. Now, 
Of course, everything is rendered within the web in HTML5, so there are some limitations. So if you are trying to do something really fancy, I know uh, people do stuff in, for example, uh, they'll they'll do something in uh, Excel and they have uh, you know power pivots going on. Well, the web version is not going to do power pivots, right? So for that, you probably want to open it, open the app in the regular version of the application, so the locally installed version, you know, and that could be um, you just click right here. So so it, once you're in here and you want to do something that is not available in the web version, and there are some limitations, like I said, you just click on open in desktop app. So if I click on this right now, it's going to open it in, in, in the desktop app. I'll just cancel out of that and I'll close out of this. So that uh, that's it right there. Uh, and let's close out of this. And so any kind of files um, that you have in your online repository, you can edit them right there in the browser. It doesn't matter if you are at your computer with the fat apps installed locally or if you are traveling and you you lost your computer and you uh, go to a hotel kiosk and you can log in from there, access all of your files. Now, here's the best thing. You can access these files from your handheld as well. So now think of it all of a sudden the server that you used to have at your office is now available and and with you in your pocket right your i your your tablets your 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 phones your smartphones whatever uh you know android uh, um, ios doesn't matter so all of a sudden this opens up a lot of different things so i just wanted to show you how you can access these files and edit them within the browser collaboratively you can have multiple people accessing the files and you'll see how when multiple people are working on it you'll see how um, it, it kind of color codes what what person is making what changes so it kind of kind of color codes so you know who's making those changes it's it's really great and and i think office has come a long way uh and they're they're constantly adding more and more stuff uh you know so for example you know first word came then Excel came, then PowerPoint came. Uh, you know, Publisher's not there yet, so eventually it'll happen. Uh, Visio uh, just came recently, not too long ago. So if you're using Visio for diagrams and stuff, you can do that within the browser now. Uh, so yeah, really good stuff going on. There's there's every day there's some new things coming up. There's there's things you know that are that are changing. So keep an eye out um, uh, for for these new features. And uh, if you want me to talk about something specific, uh, let me know. Um, and I, I get a lot of feedback. Uh, you know, people are emailing me and, and telling me, you know, talk about this, talk about that. So anything specific you want to talk about, uh, go ahead and let me know. And then until tomorrow, uh, yeah, today is uh, Wednesday. So yeah, until tomorrow, uh, you guys be safe out there and uh, enjoy this awesome day.